The muting system on the Marble Machine X can either be in muted position like this, or in activated position like this. This week I wanted to solve the problem on how to keep the muting system muted after muting it and how to keep it activated after activating it. And my first idea was to use magnets and a metal lever like this. And that's just ugly in so many ways. And then Alex CNC from the MMX team came up with a spring-loaded ball detent solution, which is basically a ball bearing, like the ones I'm using on the bar machine, that snaps into a groove. And this would snap the lever in the two outermost position. But it had a big problem. You could leave the lever standing in the middle between muted and activated and we can't allow that. And I know from the first machine that I'm gonna be quite busy when playing music on the Marble Machine X and I don't have a lot of time to spare, so I don't want to have to concentrate on the motion I'm doing on the muting levers. Just when I was thinking about this problem, I had an email from this old Tony, one of my YouTube heroes. He had seen the video I did on the connecting rods and asked if he could lend a hand with the Marble Machine X. This old Tony has a very specific video style where he narrows down a video subject to its bare minimum. One of his latest videos was about a non-functioning air file and I'm glued to the screen. <laughs> I emailed back some sketches of my problem with the muting levers and I also said that in the best of worlds, the muting levers would work like a light switch. You know the light switch you have on the wall on your home, it's always on or off. This old Tony got back to me and said, what you're talking about is a bi-stable mechanism. Mechanism. He also attached some sketches showing the function of the bistable mechanism. The idea is to have a compression spring pushing the lever in one direction. Once you move the lever over to the middle position, the compression spring will be tightened and it doesn't want to stay there. The compression spring will seek relief and snaps the lever into the closest stable position. So it's stable on two positions, hence the buy stable. when I saw the first sketch that the bi-stable mechanism was a perfect solution. But I wanted to make a prototype to get a feel of the ergonomics before going into CAD and designing the actual parts. So, the dirty prototype seems to work perfect. Now I'm just going to beef up this pivot point. something satisfying with this sound, isn't it? So here's why it's so nice to make shitty prototypes. I see that this bottoms out here and the springs isn't really applying any force anymore. I'm going to move this pivot point a little bit closer to that, so this way. That will tension the spring more. We move this up a little bit. 
That's it. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna show you what I see from here. If you keep a look out here, you see the channel that I'm muting and I'm muting. You see this, you see this moving here. One of the most common questions is if I'm not afraid of mechanical noise ruining the sound of the Mar Machine X and the answer is no. First of all, I want this rhythmical noise as a musical effect. You hear immediate hit. The second reason I'm not afraid of all is what we call within audio production signal to noise, which meaning if you have a strong signal of the sound you want and a weak signal of the noise in the background, the strong signal will eat up the weak signal and you don't have a problem. The contact microphones I'm using on the Marble Machine X have the best signal to noise ratio of all kinds of microphones. So I will have to put extra microphones on this to even hear this in the final version of the Mar Machine X. So this question will be asked continuously anyway, so I'm going to make the signal to noise video one day and teach you all how that works. Prototype worked flawlessly first try and I could go into CAD and start designing the parts for real. I suddenly realized that I could simplify this design a lot. I could remove this whole pivot point and these chain links and move the levers up to this pivot point and almost cut the parts list in half. It also moved the levers up into a similar position to how they were positioned on the first marble machine. So my interaction with the muting levers will be fully visible for the audience on the live shows. And by suggesting the bistable mechanism, this Altoni started a kind of a domino effect of design changes for the marble machine X. The biggest change is the new placement of the muting levers and that's a real hit. I feel like a football kid scoring a goal after getting the perfect pass from Ronaldo. That kind of feeling, you know? I think a lot of you are fully aware of the Disseltoni YouTube channel. For everyone who aren't, go check it out. But be a little bit careful because it's a kind of a gateway drug into the machinist world. You start watching a tot upload per week and before you know it you will be watching ABOM79 videos to even be able to get out of the bed in the morning. So there's a really peculiar coincidence here because Ever since I realized that Vintergarten YouTube channel would reach 1 million subscribers, I have been planning to celebrate this occasion by stealing a joke from this old Tony. <laughs> There's a video where he celebrates 100,000 subs, where he delivers a joke about not letting that get to his head with pitch perfect timing and that joke just stayed with me. And I think I saw that video for over a year ago and one of the things that I've been looking forward to in passing the million milestone was to steal that exact joke. But now when the stars align themselves like this, it felt slightly weird to steal a joke and in the end I decided against it. I'm super happy for the milestone, but by the end of the day it's just a number and I didn't want to make too big deal out of it. Last thing I want is for this to go to my head. <laughs> 